Onto the V-Strom 1000, much the same as its smaller sibling. We have only preload in the front, requiring the big screwdriver. And then we have shock preload and rebound only in the rear. Honda Suzuki of Salt Lake has the Honda or Suzuki you've been looking for. You know you want it. Come in and get it at Honda Suzuki of Salt Lake. So I'll have Dave help us with free sag and see if there's anything in it. Nope. So we're at 23 inches extended. On you get. Again, this is quite a bit bigger than the smaller bike with twin exhaust and a much heavier engine. So let's see what we get. Just over an inch and a half. So actually, if you're in the 190, 200 range, it's perfect as is because it's got a little bit more suspension for the street. Off-road, if you're going to dual sport this a little aggressively, that might be a tad on the uh, soft side, so you can always add some preload to it. And again, as with every standard bike, the seating position is a lot further back. We're at five inches of exposed fork, so the zip tie on the forks is going to be essential to determine how much travel you're getting and whether you need to upgrade the springs or not. Now with Haley on the bike, we're at an inch and a quarter, so we can obviously soften this up. So even at 40 pounds lighter, it's actually not that bad, which is quite surprising. We could definitely take some preload out and the bike would be very rideable for the street. For the dirt, it may be a bit tight if you're gonna dual sport it. So if you're in the 130 range, you might find it's a little harsh in the back once you get off road. Ready? The sag in the front hasn't changed at all. It's exactly the same point as it was with Dave. So again, the zip size is going to be critical here so you can manage travel and assess whether the fork springs are correct. Now with Chris on the bike, probably as with the 650, we're going to get a lot more action in the rear. And we're just over two inches, two and a quarter inches, so definitely too soft in this case. We've got to add quite a bit of preload for street type riding for sure, so the back of the bike isn't so far down because the geometry of the bike is completely skewed right now, it's too far back. And we've got a little bit more sag in the front, but it's only a quarter of an inch. So again, even though that's dropped considerably more than we had with Dave, the front end's only changed by a quarter inch. So once more, zip tie is critical.